But we don't typically do midweek videos anymore. Correct. And we typically don't do dedicated product videos anymore. Mm -hmm. But we're breaking both those rules <laughs> because we have to tell you about this great product. And the product that I'm talking about today is this Active Controls 50 amp plug and play soft start capacitor and surge protector. I know you're going to want to know exactly what this does and how it stacks up and compares to other surge protectors in the industry. This is a plug and play soft start capacitor. So you don't need to install the soft start capacitors on your air conditioners on top of your rig. You can simply plug this into your pedestal or your generator and it will allow you to run more air conditioners than your regular setup would allow you to run. Now, a couple of months ago, we tried the 30 amp version and we tried that with the pedestal and with the generator. It worked really well. Well, Active Controls just came out with the 50 amp version. So now that we have the 50 amp version, it will really do everything that we need it to do. The cool thing about this is you can dog bone this down to 30 amp service or run it off a 30 amp pedestal and run two of your air conditioners. You can dog bone it down and plug it in to a 3000 watt generator and run two air conditioners. You could even dog bone this down to 15 amp service that you just regularly plug in with a 12 gauge extension cord and you can still run one air conditioner and all of your lights in your RV. The other cool thing about this is that you can take it with you. So if you invest a bunch of money on soft start capacitors that you have to install on top of your RV and then you change RVs, guess what? Those capacitors are going with the RV. This will unplug and go right with you. Let me talk real quick about what's going on inside of this soft start capacitor slash surge protector. Now you can get the version that's not a surge protector, but I recommend that you get the one with the surge protector. If you have the one that's without the surge protector, you can upgrade it at any time. All you have to do is purchase the little switchboard and plug it in there and it automatically becomes a surge protector also. This has heat dissipation technology. So if this gets too hot, it will shut down to save the components inside and save the components in your RV. It has a high and low voltage shutoff. So if it gets outside of the normal parameters of low voltage or high voltage, this will shut off to prevent damage to your wiring system in your RV. This is different from any other surge protector on the market because it has individual leg shutoff. So on 50 amp service, you have two legs and each one of those legs is running different things in your RV. If there's a problem with one of your legs on a typical surge protector, it will shut the entire system down and you will have no power to your RV. With this, it has individual leg shutoff. So if you have a problem with one of your legs, that leg will shut off. The other leg will continue to function and you can still plug in stuff and you can function and get by on that one leg until you can get the second leg repaired. It also comes with an anti-theft ring. This is a little spendy, so you wanna make sure that people aren't stealing your stuff. It is super easy to set up. You will need the app, which all you have to do is scan the QR code on the box. Now, if you have the 30 amp version of this, it's not the same app. You will have to scan the QR code on the box that comes with this product to make sure you have the correct app. You can't just add this to the existing app. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna plug this into 50 amp service on the pedestal, just so I can show you how the app works. And then we're gonna put this thing to the test. We're gonna dog bone this down to 30 amp service on the pedestal. And then we're gonna dog bone it down to our 3000 watt generator. And then we're gonna dog bone it down to 15 amp service. And we'll see what all we can run on this thing. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is plug this in with the power off. And then I'll flip the breaker on. And what I'm looking for is there's a red light and there's a green light up top here. And that will tell you what the faults are. There's a little tag on the right side of the cord here. It will tell you what each one of those faults mean if depending on what those, what those lights say. I have a green light, so that means I'm good to go. So I can go ahead and take my uh, cord from my RV and plug it into the active controls. All right, let's talk about the surge protection aspect of this. Now, if you have a surge or something goes wrong, it's not gonna fry this entire box. You're not gonna have to replace this entire thing. There's a board in there. It will fry the board, and then you just take the board, you send it back to active controls. You have to order a new board. That's, it's not covered under warranty because that piece is designed to fry instead of wiping out your whole system. So everything in here is covered under warranty, all the components, 
and all the functionality except for that board. So if you have that board go out, you have to contact customer service over at Active Controls or look on their website. They should have them on their website here really soon. And then you can just order the replacement board, take the old board out, plug the new board in, and you're good to go. Okay, I have everything in the RV turned off. I have uploaded the app, and now I'm going to connect to my device. I already renamed it. You can rename your device if you want. I named it WAGS 50 amp, because I have the 30 amp version and the 50 amp version. Now I'm going to get confused. So now I'm going to go into that on the main page, and even though everything's turned off, everything's turned off except for the fridge. So we are pulling one amp on each leg. Uh, you can see our voltage is 116 on both legs, which is good. Frequency is 60 hertz. Um, resettable energy. That is if you are in a park who charges you electricity and you want to compare what they have with what you have, every time you plug into a campground, you can reset that energy. So you can start your whole kilowatt hours over again. So when they try to charge you for 100 kilowatt hours and you only use 50, you can show them the app and say, hey, I only use this much. And then total energy is the amount of energy that the device has used for the entire life of the device. Uh, it shows the temperature. The temperature is not outside ambient temperature. That's the temperature inside the box, what's going on inside the surge protector. And then you'll see how many watts you're pulling on each leg. We're pulling about 120 to 150 on the first leg and 150 on the second leg because we do have some little residual stuff. We do have the lights on in here, which is not pulling a lot of power, and then we do have the refrigerator on. So um, that's what all of that stuff means. Now, new load detected, that counter will go up on each leg every time it completes a soft start action. So once it reduces the power draw, every time it does that, so every time an air conditioner starts, it's going to keep that counter up. So you know how many times this thing has, has actually engaged the soft start. All right, now if you pop over to the settings tab, um, you'll see that you can see if your surge protection is working properly or if you have an issue with your surge protection. If you've had just a big surge, you want to go in here and just to make sure that you're, you're still good. If there's an issue, it'll tell you and then you'll need to go replace your board like we just talked about. Um, so then on the power settings, you'll need to select Right now we're working on the power pedestal, so we're going to select the power pedestal. Later on, when we switch over to the generator, we're going to switch over to whatever's closest to the generator that you have. Ours is a 3400 watt, so I'm going to select medium 3000 watt generator when I switch over to that. Just so that the search protector knows exactly what it can expect for input of power to run to the coach. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go start starting some air conditioners. All right, we're in the bedroom now. I'm going to start the first air conditioner. And because we're on 50 amp and we're hooked up to the pedestal, we're not going to have an issue with the soft start. I just want to kind of show you what this app looks like when it's actually powering devices on. So we'll start this air conditioner. So the draw has gone up to 11 amps, 12 amps now on one air conditioner, 11 to 12 amps. But you didn't see a spike. It just went straight up to the amperage that it's going to be using. If you were monitoring this without a soft start, you would have seen a big spike and then it would have went back down to the running amps. All right, it's time for air conditioner number two and number three. Let's go ahead and start that second air conditioner. It should show up still on that first leg. And it just kicked on and went straight up to about 23, 24 amps which is about double what that first air conditioner did. Now I'm gonna start the third air conditioner and it will come up on leg two. It just kicked on and it's coming up on leg two and you can see it's drawing between 11 and 12 amps. So now, actually, if you had four air conditioners, you could run four air conditioners off of 50 amp power. We don't really need to turn a whole lot of stuff on with 50 amp service to the pedestal because we know we have plenty. So what we're going to do now is we're going to dog bone that down to 30 amp service and we're going to try to start at least two air conditioners with our lights and our refrigerator. All right, we're still on the pedestal, but now I've dog boned it down to 30 amp service. And normally on 30 amp service, it goes down to one leg, but this device allows it still to split into two different legs. So it might take a little bit of troubleshooting to see which legs that your air conditioners are wired to because you don't want 
uh, two of your air conditioners drawing off the same leg, it's probably fine on the pedestal, but when we go to the generator, you'll see that, that you'll need to fire up those, those air conditioners on different legs, so you're not drawing all the power from one leg. And also keep in mind that when you turn this unit on, it, it goes through a troubleshooting process. It takes about 30 to 45 seconds for the power to actually come on to your coach. That's because this thing's going through all of its processes to make sure that everything is safe before it shoots power into your RV. Through trial and error, <laughs> we learned that our bedroom air conditioner and this air conditioner right here in the kitchen are on the same leg. The air conditioner in the back in the living room is on the separate legs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the air conditioner in the bedroom and see how many amps we're drawing and then I'm going to come and turn on the air conditioner in the living room because it's on a separate leg which is really cool to have two legs on 30 amp service and we'll see how much power each one of those draw. All right here we go 30 amp on the pedestal starting air conditioner in the bedroom. All right up to 11 between 11 and 12 amps, which is normal. Let's go fire up this other air conditioner. Now, if I were to fire up this air conditioner right here, you would see that big draw on leg one. But I'm gonna fire up the one down in the living room and you should see the draw off of leg two. So that each one of those legs is really not drawing that much power. And then you'll see that's up now to 11 amps on leg two, 10, 11 amps on leg one. So you're not really drawing too much power. Here comes the fun part. We're gonna to try to run all the stuff that we were just running on the 30 amp pedestal from our 3400 watt dual fuel champion generator. And we're running on propane, so we won't get as much output as you would if you run on fuel, but I still think it's gonna be enough to run the two air conditioners, the lights, and the TV. Back in the bedroom, we're just on the generator, and let's fire up the bedroom air conditioner and see what it does. We're starting all those on low auto because we don't want to draw too much power. And you can see on leg one, up to 10, 11 amps, normal, same as it was on the pedestal. Let's go fire up the other air conditioner and see what it does. All right. Again, make sure you're starting your second air conditioner on the other leg. So you don't draw too much power on that one leg and blow your circuits out. Okay, you can hear the generator out there, fire up, and then the amps up here go to 10 on leg two. Let's go turn on the TV. And there you have it. We're now running two air conditioners, our lights, and our TV on our Champion Dual Fuel 3400 watt generator. And it seems to be doing pretty well. All right, now we're gonna do something crazy. So if you're mooch dockers or you park close to family and you wanna hook up and have a little bit of power, this is gonna allow you to hook up just an extension cord right to their house. So included with your Active Controls soft start, surge protector, you will get this adapter. And this adapter is gonna take you from 50 amps down to 15 amps. Now you will need a 12 gauge extension cord. A regular extension cord is 16 gauge. That's gonna bring your power down to like 13 amps. If you wanna stay at 15 amps, you need at least a 12 gauge, 10 gauge preferably, but 12 gauge will work. And you can run this up to 100 feet and you won't lose any amperage. It will still hold 15 amps up to 100 feet of extension cord. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this up to uh, just a regular extension cord, just plug it in a socket, and we're gonna try to run our lights and at least one air conditioner off of 15 amp service. We're plugged into the regular old plug, and we're gonna kick on one of the air conditioners to see if we can fire up one air conditioner just by plugging into a regular old outlet. Right now, drawing one amp on that leg, and the air conditioner's on. And it's drawing 11 amps. Just on a regular old plug. Wow, that's crazy, man. Who would have thought you could run an air conditioner when you're just mooch docking and plugging into somebody? That's crazy. And all of our lights are running. Our refrigerator is running. And not that it's made a difference at all, ever, but we'll turn the TV on because that's, that's really what we want. We want to at least be able to watch TV. We want to have lights. We want to have our refrigerator. 
and we want to at least be able to run one air conditioner to stay a little bit cool. So yeah, we're running all that stuff and it's still between 10 and 11 amps. Pull in 1200 watts. And because it still splits it into two legs, you could actually pick which air conditioner that you want to run. Let's kick this one off and let's turn the one in the bedroom on and see if that works. Now, if you're going to do this on 15 amps, you definitely have to make sure that the other air conditioner is off before you try to kick this one on because it will shut everything down. So now we're going to come over and because I know when you're mooch in during the day, you're probably going to run that air conditioner over there and then at night, you're probably going to run the air conditioner in the bedroom. So let's kick this one on and see what it does. There you have it. So you can pick whichever air conditioner you want to run as long as you're only running one and you can run your lights, your refrigerator and your TV. You could probably run a little bit more because really we're drawing we're drawing 12 right now but I really really wouldn't want to push it because you're really only only working with 15 amps. So anything else that you try to do um, you really would need to turn your air conditioners off. Like I guess if you want to run like your your water heater you need to kick your air conditioners off. Um, I wouldn't push it on any of these high use appliances but at least you know what you can do. What you can do is when you hook them to the pedestal um, you can cut everything off and then just cut one appliance on at a time and make yourself a, a, a chart on how much power each appliance draws. So then it doesn't matter if you're on 50 amp, on 30 amp, on your generator or on your 15 amp service, you'll know exactly which appliances you'll need to kick off to be able to kick other appliances on. I'm impressed. Me too. Man, it works great. Yeah. You know what? The, the thing that blows me away is that it can separate onto two different two legs. Points. Yeah. no matter what application you're using yeah so you can disperse that power without blowing out your stuff yeah. man it's awesome it's gonna be neat trying this out yeah i can't wait i can't wait to make our chart yes how much power everything everything takes yes <laughs> we like charts so that way when we do dabble a little bit in the boondocking that's right this will be great to take along with us so help keep us from blowing things out well and we can use it in any situation we can hook up to yes. the pedestal we can hook up to the generator we can hook up to somebody's house, house. it didn't matter we're still going to get some kind of power Open. usage no matter opens what options for definitely us. opens options we'll leave a link in the description to active control so pop over there and get you one we save you five percent if you use promo code wags when you check out and uh you know we're not promoting this so that we can make any money no we're promoting this because it's a good product we actually we actually declined taking any commission yes. so that we could pass that 5% savings on to you. Right. So whether you buy it or not, we're not making any money. Okay. So don't feel pressure to buy it just to help <laughs> us out because really the only person you're helping out by buying it is you because right. you get this awesome product. But hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you wanna get involved with helping us help vets while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description mm -hmm. of the video. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.